So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some this more beers after he helped Fliss? In the middle of the ocean. Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some. Pretty romantic. And then he got drunk. Okay. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Yeah. Why that little bullet we found? So, uh, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? I'll stick with my name. No. Honestly? I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Dad can foot the bill. Let's plan it together. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. Coo, coo. I was so worried you might say no. Uh. Uh. Ah, I don't know what to say. Say nothing. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Yeah, I'm gonna skip play. Like a rug so you can walk all over me? Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find. No idea what that is. You just relax. <laughs> I don't think you like that. Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Yeah, okay, let's go get him. Oh, all right, all right. Calm down, Conrad, my man. What are you doing there? Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> yeah, Conrad, my man. So sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Yeah, please. All right, all right, calm down. Bit of a lady killer, I see. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. It's in the case, so, so down here. How's it feel to be a man post proposal? Get, get all of these controls. Honestly. There, there's an update to this game, I can't be fucked up then. It's like seven gig. I'm, I hope it, it actually is to fix the controls. Why'd you do it on the dime? Okay. I wanted it to be memorable. Is this the one? I have to add you. Bombing the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. I never thought you were the settler type. I'm proud of you, bro. I'm good to settle without this one. Right here. Okay, that. Uh, like it just glitched. You got no Brad, resistance Brad. there. Doesn't All right, want to everyone, be check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? Oh, yeah, it the takes a couple hours go. if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? Wait, was the plane there supposed was a to go to the... Board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah. That makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, oh, hey. Damn. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was She's too much. Mad. 
Okay. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. I wanted to get a fucking pro okay. fucking period Maybe. at me. God damn. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's, it's bad, bad luck. luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're mm. not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred. Yeah, all right. You got a fun ghost story, Damn, right? she popped off. Not yeah, I, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. Oh, great. We could all use a good show. The ghost story. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. All right. Scare away, little bro. Okay. <laughs> Scare away, little bro. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. Classic setup. True story? Where'd you hear this? Classic Conrad. If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. Okay. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face be in the dark. To this closer. Right closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Super twist. Nice. That's lame. It's not scary. I didn't get Don't scared. Your day job. I didn't get scared at all. Wasn't scary. Oh come on, that wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, scary, corn dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No 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 no. Because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional ah, protocol Conrad. subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four, good buddy. And I'm out. So we're hitting the high. Some lightning. Doesn't sound like good weather though. Okay. 
Okay, I'm pressing buttons right now. Yeah, baby, fuck you. I wasn't planning on pressing any buttons, but... These guys might be the guys off that little fisherman's boat, the one who crashed into our thing. Yeah, it is. Oh, what are, what is it? What are these guns want? Right. What are these come to? These are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Mm. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. And go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Still. Be 
you and your well best in the game your little man. Get off! Get off! <clears throat> I forgot his he life when he would have got caught. We're coming back. <sighs> oh, Jesus, Conrad. They're probably gonna write that. the fuck up. Hey, dollars to donuts, it'll be Fliss and Julia breaking heads. Not the other way around. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah, he's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. To your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. <laughs> yeah, but they have a knife, though. I don't know. Fuck. Unless I'm like, it's your editorial. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about. Parents. What? How much money they have. Parents? Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. <gasps> it's okay. No. Really? been engaged for what a couple of hours now yeah, we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us i'll be pretty mad Is that true? Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window. I don't get know the boat. about this. You guys, distract them. Conrad. Just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. I don't know about this, dog. Three. Uh, five. Six. Hey, what the hell are you thinking? What the hell, guys? What, oh, is it on seven? Shot me in. 
Oh, I'm gonna die. What have I done? What are you doing, oh, you idiot? Oh, bye -bye. Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, also. Oh, did I just kill Conrad? <laughs> Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. One of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian gold. Yeah, fuck on there. I'm assuming that's where we're going now. What is there, boy? That's the thing. <laughs> I thought Conrad would have died. Hey, Conrad. You gave it your best shot. Alright! Shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, so. What a cork in it. <sighs> Sit still, all of you. Oh, I pressed the fucking wrong button. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Got it. it should give us a fucking warning when they press the button. <sighs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Okay, over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? No, it's a little bit hairy out here, over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gotta hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. Here we can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Ah! 
he had a gun. I don't want to risk it or to show the pain. You know what I'm saying? Holy shit. I was not ready for that. He shouldn't so loud, I'm surprised I haven't even heard him. still alive things could have been quite different <laughs> kind-hearted creature I am I'd like to offer you some form tempted <laughs> Ooh, right. Okay then. Yeah. I we am. will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act Two, Scene Seven. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, "All that glisters is not gold." Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress. I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but make? here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. 